Bill Scheffler available? Hello? Where's Kelly? Where's Kelly? Kurt. Kurt, K U R T. Oh my God, you're alive. They didn't kill me yet. They tried. Dude, is Detroit going is more than once? Damn it, those motherfuckers. Seriously, they're not playing right now. They're taking me rather seriously, I think. Um, I don't know if it was before or after some calls to the FBI or, or what, but I think people are starting to wake the fuck up that I'm goddamn serious. <clears throat> I did call the FBI a couple times, and one of my more recent calls, aside from alerting them to a problem I had uh, with fentanyl on the South Beach, <clears throat> That they, of course, said, well, did you let the first responders know? And I said, what the fuck do you think? Uh, um, anywho, long story short, I did also tell them that I am formally making a request to rescind a previous federal order that I issued years ago that I would never carry a wire or I would never carry a fucking concealed weapon. I'm rescinding the concealed weapon part and fuck the wires. You guys already know where I'm at, what I'm doing. I see the surveillance bands around me all the motherfucking time. It doesn't matter where I go in the city. It seems like I turn on my fucking Wi-Fi and I have FBI surveillance band 46, FBI surveillance band subdivision. Dude, it's fucking ridiculous. There's no way these motherfuckers can't say they don't know what's on. Jesus Christ, they're up my ass tighter than a frog pussy. Why is this motherfucker still on office? Can they not see what's obviously going on? I mean, are people that anesthetized with what's happening? I think this COVID virus, isn't it, isn't it timely that this virus comes in right now at a time where elections are coming and now people aren't supposed to go out and vote? Are they going to switch to online voting from home now? Do you even see how we're going to have an election this fall if they don't get this virus under control? <laughs> um, it, I hate to say I told you so, but is this getting close to I told you they're trying to fuck it up? Uh, I uh, put in a request to get not only because they've tightened restrictions so tight right now. I don't know how, if you're aware of this. Uh, with this chipped ID, if you don't have a chipped ID, they can throw you into federal prison. Have you heard about this one? Okay, well, I'm just letting you know they're already starting it here in Los Angeles. They're already starting to incarcerate people who don't have IDs or incubate them in certain areas of town. Some they're taking voluntarily, other ones they're taking by force. What the fuck is that? When when did that do they're not doing that in Detroit yet? Well, they're not publicizing here, it's just happening. People are disappearing from areas of the 
city that they were normally in, and some of them are migrating to other areas, and some of them are just disappearing, literally. It's a, it's a strange thing to watch happen in Los Angeles. Um, I have asked for my uh, not only birth certificate, but the probate court document that shows I legally changed my name when I was 10, which they said they're going to have to dig for that one because they're not sure if it's been sent to permanent files, which means they have to dig it out, or if it may have been destroyed, which I don't know why they would destroy a document like that, or if it's been sent to the 100-year file. So it's going to have to take uh, a few days of research to find that probate document. Have you ever heard of anything so fucking ridiculous in your life? How the fuck would a probate court document even turn up missing, let alone they're not sure how to... It's on a fucking microfish, people. Use the fucking microfish and let's get it over with. Uh, and there is an hourly search charge. So it depends on me. Anyway, so I'm trying to get my passport and ID stuff so I can migrate to a different area. Where do I go get a groin hernia surgery and not risk going to a hospital that has a septic problem? Not the best time to need a groin hernia surgery, don't you think? I don't even know where to go stay. Do I go to Canada to get a fucking groin hernia surgery? Where's the least chance of catching this fucking disease? Oh, so now I have to figure out a way to make a hernia that's debilitating as fuck where I have to lay down for a day to recover. Uh, d d to be more debilitating, so actually take it serious, and a hospital that's clean. Boy, this sounds like a different panel on back. Wh Where would Bill go? Yeah! Where would Bill go? You wouldn't even try and get it fixed right now? You'd just say, fuck it, I'm going to run with it? Even if it was a foreign country like India or somewhere not quite as infected as we are, because obviously this country is becoming very toxic. Okay. Okay, so where would you go? Canada? Ethiopia? I mean, where the fuck would Bill go? Nowhere? You wouldn't go, obviously, not to France. Wow. Okay. And if you were trying to stay away from that guy, where would Bill go hide then to finish writing his book? Okay. Thanks for the suggestion. That's kind of my thought, too. So I'm going to go look for a cliff. <laughs> so at least if they come looking for me, they have a long way to fall. Oh, fuck, dude. This has just become rogue shit nuts. I, there are very few places I can find to hide or stash stuff. I'm thinking of getting storage, putting important items in it, and fuck everything else. Uh, I have started to get people on the streets, though, to recover my stolen property. And I, at one point, I had seven of my bikes recovered of about 500. So I have a few to go. And I've been selling those off to stay alive. Pardon? Be safe. All right. Talk soon. Oh, I sent you text stuff. Did you get it? Did you get the text stuff I sent? Okay. Yeah, interesting how Uncle Sam covered that. You'll get more. Bye.